For those of you with incredibly short attention spans, Melania's monsterization has begun, and Evil Lord figures that now is the right time to go recruit his four heavenly kings. So obviously Evil Lord Dirty is a bit repetitive, so what is there to enjoy in this mode? Well, despite the repetition, the mode really is fun to play now and then. Plus the music is pretty kickin' rad, though you do tend to hear the same songs over and over. Honestly, the main draw to this mode for me is the dialogue. I know it's very silly and over the top, but charm like that is the whole reason I play Half Minute Hero in the first place. So when the game gives you an objective that isn't destroy all enemies, just go do that objective. You may be wondering if we'll get to see what the Fab Four spirits are capable of this episode. Unfortunately, no. The only places each of them show up out of these eight stages that I'm playing is in the stage that came before the one where we save them. For this mode, I'd honestly rather just keep things moving along without replaying stages too much. There's still 16 stages left after I recruit them all, however, so they will all show up at some point in the near future. If they didn't, it would be kind of a waste of time in getting them in the first place.
just like before, our objective is not to kill all enemies, but to save the spirit. So the quickest way to go about this is to use all of these wild monsters to clear a path for us. I know this is kind of a cheap way to go about doing things, but honestly, otherwise, Evil Lord Dirty just drags on. So if you're wondering why I'd say that Evil Lord 30 drags on, even though I've made short work of every stage so far, that's understandable. The first time people play Evil Lord 30, not everything is apparent right away. People will try to kill all enemies when they don't need to, which takes a bunch of time. But also, people will stick around to fight groups of enemies when you just don't need to. If you run up to a group of, say, Nimbles, like right up there, with nothing else around them, just summon a few brutes and move on. Your summons will win, even though you aren't around, so just dilly-dallying around is a waste of time. The mechanic of Winds is kind of a dick, in the sense that I need to touch him to save him, just like the other spirits. But he actively tries to run away from us. I am a little bit faster than him though, so if you know which route to take around the map, you can catch up to him without having to fight any enemies.
just looking at the mini-map, you'd think this is one of the most direct routes ever, but no. There are enemy reinforcements waiting to block our path when we get too close to this statue. Uh, reinforcements are the biggest middle finger in this mode. You'd think, oh sweet, this mission is going to be easy. I mean, the statue is just right over there, then BAM! Shooters out of nowhere. And you just know how much I love fighting shooters. So there are two ways to save this guy. Either touch him, like the other spirits, or kill the minister. Which option do you think is more direct? With the fabulous foursome under our command, it's time to hunt down Noir once more to try and save Millennia.